so we have the Hawks playing their first game under Quinn Snyder against these frisky Wizards. Bradley Beal hits the wide open three pointer, and the offensive rebounds from the Wizards were on point today, man. They were attacking the glass very well. Here is a putback lane from Clint Capella after a few misses, and the Hawks were in control to be fair with you throughout most of the, I mean, second half and. Here is a no-look pass from Trae Young to make it an 8-point game. And it felt like they were just gonna cruise to victory here, but the Wizards did respond, man. And they had a lead here. And Trae Young continued to go into the paint and he got swarmed by Daniel Gafford. And he went there like 5 times and he couldn't get anything to go in there, man. It was a rough, uh, rough 5 minutes here for Trae Young and the Hawks. Bradley Beal, mid-range money. Man, was he clutch today. He was spectacular. Uh, absolutely spectacular tonight. He was unstoppable, man. And the Hawks had nothing for him. But Trae Young does make it a one-point game here with a three-pointer with 30 seconds to go. Bradley Beal tries to get the Trae Young switch on him. They try to hedge as mu much as possible, but Bradley Beal hits the tough lean in floater that, I mean, that's just a tough shot. You just gotta tip your heads to him because... That's a great tough shot. Trey Young tries the long distance three pointer, misses, gets another chance on the offensive board. It doesn't go down, and the Hawks lose their first game under Quinn Snyder. Rough loss for them, but still, I would say it's a beginning of a new era, and it's, you know, <clears throat> what they need, and it's right for them, right? So, Trey Young, 31 and 7. 11 of 26, not his best night overall, especially that fourth quarter was a little, little rough on him, but it happens. Dejante Murray had 15 points on 18 shots, also not the best night for him. Clint Capella, DeAndre Hunter, and John Collins had solid nights. John Collins still always leaves you wanting more, but Clint Capella and DeAndre Hunter did what they are supposed to do. We would like to see Hunter and Collins get more on the board and at least have some contributions to the team, but with their role, they did what they should do, right? Bogdan Bogdanovic has been on one lately. He was once again really solid tonight. Sadiq Bay has been pretty good for the Hawks, shooting the three ball well, but still, I don't know if I trust him, man, but that might be, you know, you gotta stop carrying the old experiences into new memories, right? Or new experiences. Because Sadiq Bay does feel like a better player with the Hawks already, but we'll have to wait and see a little bit before that period rounds out, right? We'll have to wait and see how he f finishes the year off, but I've been impressed with Sadiq Bay so far as a wizard. As a wizard, god damn it, as a hawk. I already have the wizards pulled up. Bradley will 37 and 7 with on 30 shots. 30, 30, 30. <laughs> Bradley Beal was, man, I mean, I think the thing with Bradley Beal is, of course, everyone hates the contract he has, and understandably so, but every, I would also argue that a lot of us like Bradley Beal a lot as a player, right? But it's a weird line, because you are like, yeah, he does not deserve over 40 million a year, but at the same time, you're like, yeah, he's a really good player. <laughs> he's a really, really good player that you just, I mean, it's... I really enjoy watching Bradley Beal. He makes the game a lot of fun. Uh, with that said, Kyle Kuzma had 28 points. He started off on fire, kept the Wizards in this game. Daniel Gafford was incredible. 3 blocks, 13 points, 12 rebounds. And the bench also did a solid for him. Corey Kispert was okay. Dylan Wright in his return to Atlanta was really good. Jordan Goodwin had 6 points. Taj Gibson did some solid things. Kendrick Nunn had 8 points. Some good win for the Wizards without, of course, Kristas Porzingis. And they are in a playing spot, I think, as of right now, right? And I think they're, they're a fun team to watch, so I'm happy to see them in the playing so far. We'll shout out to the Wizards. 